Hi everybody and welcome to the online meeting players. Um, let's cover some stuff and get some information out to you guys so you can have a fun, a more fun time playing. Um, first off, the in-game tutorial. Do it. it. It will explain your basic actions like digging and climbing and all of that. That. The next is the menu. We're gonna talk about this really quick so you know. All right, so you press escape. Or you press main menu, or or uh, I believe it's like another button you can press uh, F10 or something. But inventory is I, skill is uh, K, character is C, select bar doesn't matter, journal is J, crafting is B, tools cooking recipe is down on the mini timer, timer uh, mini bar right there. Timers don't matter, achievements are achievements, world map takes you here. This will show you your current uh, server that you're on. And if you go to Freedom, it'll show you different uh, um, server clusters that you can that uh, you can't access right now. And if you press this button right here, it will show you all three different or all four servers for the uh, NFI or Northern Ireland. Next up is inventory uh, interaction. Um, I'll just make it really quick, and we can combine two things at once. This is also how you would uh, activate something. Double click and it turns green. Um, inside your inventory, you're allowed to have 100 items maximum at any given time, unless you have stuff like this, which is a backpack, which gives me spaces, and satchels, which give me spaces so I can carry more at the same time. Um, equipping is pretty straightforward as well. All you do is you start the game, you'll have uh, all your all your stuff inside of your inventory uh, for starters, and one of them will be armors. Is it'll be leather. So you just right click and click equip. Or you can drag and drop. Both will work. Uh, combat is pretty straightforward. Um, you get, you have two options. You can either auto fight by clicking here, and it will turn yellow. And now you can auto fight, and the game will automatically fight for you. This will allow you to switch through stances, which is aggressive, normal, and defensive. These are all the different stances you can choose. I'm aggressive. Aggressive gives you basically two times attack. Normal is balanced, and defense is you, you're like tanking. Um, it'll also drop down a uh, circle of arrows pointing in all the directions that you could possibly attack. And then outside that circle is going to be four cardinal directions with arrows pointing. And that's what you use to block. Uh, below is a focus. Uh, you use that to get yourself a better chance to hit the creature that you're fighting. Um, if you go above three currently, there's a bug. So you have to use your numpad zero to get to five. Uh, if you can get that high. Uh, and then there's uh, special moves. Special moves uh, allow you to drain CR, stamina, make them puke and throw up. You can stun people. They're really good to use, but they take a lot of stamina. Um, gathering is straightforward as well. You go up to to a specific area like this, this grass. You hit three, four, and that's forage and botanize. Forage will get you food products and, and food items. Botanize will get you like herbs, twigs, sticks, uh, sprouts, stuff like that. Um, as you can see, I just got a sprout, a blueberry sprout from here. Combining is pretty straightforward as well. You take two products, uh, like for instance, tar or or something of that nature. And what you would do is you, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab them for you guys so you can see uh, what it looks like. What you do is you can grab something like, let's say you, it has to be the same item. So let's say we have tar. Ten of them. I can show you. Uh, you click one, activate it, highlight the group, right click on where there's not active and hit combine. That will allow you to combine your stuff at any time. And for metal, you have to do it when it's hot. You can't do it when it's cold. Uh, crafting is pretty straightforward as well. You press B. Uh, you slide in something or you something like this slide in there okay so you were to activate the an add to crafting table that gives you a large anvil and then if you were to take something like uh, uh iron lumps this will show you your chance to make stuff what it is and as you progress further and further along in there you'll open up more objects to craft uh you can do this with everything 
just about everything except for alchemy. Alchemy, you would need. Uh, I'll show you alchemy really quick. So alchemy is. So this is going to be the highest. I think the highest tier. As you can see, I was only able to because I filled it all the way up. Okay, so what you would do is you highlight one and activate it. Right click the other, go to alchemy, and then lore will tell you what it can do. Fairly strong. This is, you can find what mixes together in <coughs> the wikis. Uh, so that's crafting. Building is pretty straightforward as well. You were, you would go to that mallet that you created from... Hopefully this will work. Yay! So healing cover. And then you can look at it and it would be... This is supreme, which means it's the max level. You can put this on a bad or severe and it will start to help heal it. Uh, but you need cotton. And we'll talk about that in a minute. But building is straightforward. You activate your mallet. You right click on the center of a flat, flat floor. In this case... And then you hit plan building. And then if you want to get rid of it, you can remove building here or finalize it. So remove it, and that's how you get rid of stuff, and that's how you build. You'll need planks and nails to uh, build the wall. If you don't put the plank or a nail into the structure that I showed you, this one right here, it will disappear within, I think it's three or four days on its own if you don't add planks. Um, healing, you, there are several options. Uh, there's farmer self, healing covers, and cotton. Uh, cotton is going to be your main one. I think wool also works, but just for let's not confuse stuff. So cotton, you can forage, or excuse me, botanize the area around you. You want to try bushes if you're hurt. It will help you find them. Uh, the wiki, the wiki is pretty straightforward and easy to find. There's two different options. You can do in game, which is just right click on the object and click the word Pedia. And it will bring up whatever it is. It will tell you how you need to create it and all that information. Or you can go and Google uh, Worm Wiki, and that is also an option. Okay, here's the super important thing that you have to remember how to do. Because if you don't, you could screw yourself over in the long run. Uh, essentially, what you want to do is, to, is deposit your coin. Um, when you start off, you'll you'll have, I believe, your mailbox will be in the starting, uh, the starter deed that you choose. And what you can do is go to the deed token in the center of the the deed, and then right click on it, and go to bank, and go to manage, and then you can take the coin and drop it into this this box, and it'll show you your balance. Another another quick trick is balances will show you how much money you have, how many marks you have, how many rift points you have, and that'll give you good information. This also holds, I think, four, maybe five items. Uh, that's it. And farming. I'm going to show you farming really quick. So if you want to farm, what you want to do is you want to grab your rake, activate it, and then right-click, farm. As you can see, this says almost ripe. When it says ripe, that's when I can grab it. And you can press R repeat previous actions when you farm you're going to want to start with wemp and cotton those are the two lowest difficulty and it should be the easiest and for farming you get your seeds from foraging so if you were to forage uh, a pumpkin again i just want to show you how you would do it so nettles is considered a uh herb okay so potato to plant a uh, potato, this is just plant it. If it was a uh, um, strawberry or something, you right click and then you go pick. Okay, the additional websites you really want to know are wormfood.com, uh, the wiki page. You also want to go to the forum page. You also want to use Grinder if you're trying to scale up. You're also you also want uh, Niagara that tells you when rifts are and uh, when deeds come and go, so you can you know raid them if you need to. Um, if you place your tent down off a D, you leave it down, uh, it will appear within a week. So only put your tent down just before you're going to log out for the day or night, and pick it up in the morning, and that way it will last far longer. It will only, if you're on a D, though, and you put the tent on a D, 
even though it's purposeless, it won't take any damage as long as you have more than 30 days on the deed. Any thir uh, if you have 29, it'll start taking damage. Deeds. Okay, let's talk about deeds. Deeds cost 4 silver and I think 38 copper to make an official deed. It lasts for 3 months. That 3 months is all included. It gives you 11 by 11. Just uh, for 1 silver a month. If you go up to 250 tiles total, like 20 by 25, it will only cost you a silver. Um, you can also hire uh, Templars. Uh, and they will guard your deed against aggressive uh, mobs and kill them for you. But it'll cost you another silver every time, or silver every month. Um, as you expand, it will cost you more money to expand and buy the tiles. Uh, there's wiki, so you calculate. But it, it will cost you more per month. And let's not forget the very basic W A S D. That's your movement. Okay. Um, you can zoom in by pressing down the left mouse button mouse wheel you can also zoom in plus or minus also thing uh, V you can zoom out um, you are always moving at your maximum speed it all depends on how much weight you can carry where you start lose reductions in speed you can go to the weight above it it tells you your equipment weight which is what you're wearing it tells you your inventory what you're carrying and your total weight um, and then it tells you 100% limit. So once you hit this 88.1, you go down to 75% speed. Once you hit 154.1, you go down to 25%. And once you hit your max weight of, in this case for me, 308, uh, 41943, uh, I, you can't move. So that is how you would see the weights. Now, also, you, just so you know, there's some information that's very important. Right click this. You go to uh, manage and then file. Open this up. This will give you a myriad of options. Incoming PMs, you can allow or disallow. Cross Kingdom is same or, or any. Cross server is local or any. Friends is always or never. And, and as you can go through this and change stuff, the exception of the cooking affinity, if you just are starting again, that's that's on no matter what. And if you don't want to hear CA help, you can hide it. If you trade, you can hide it. You can do all of that different stuff. And you can hide startup messages as well. Um, karma is also on there. If you have enough karma, you can light up tiles, you can uh, summon your corpse, and you can t portal back to wherever you need to go. Get karma by uh, completing missions or eating source salt uh, or source water. Those will give you karma. The missions is the biggest one that you can do. Whole missions up again. You would have to get tools, and then you get more. This right here, do all the extra stuff. But mission progress. You can also click mission details, and it'll show you. The or you can double click it, and it'll click it, and it'll show you the same thing. This is just to add, uh, quickly access stuff if you can't remember uh, the shortcut hotkey. Okay, so we've covered. Do the tutorial. We've said, uh, make sure that we sh explain the menus. We showed you the inventory. We showed you activating, equipping, combat, gathering, combining, crafting, building, uh, healing, and the wiki, as well as depositing monies and farming. Uh, now I want to talk to you about skilling up. Now this is, <laughs> this depends on the person, to be completely honest. <clears throat> so to skill up, you just have to. Figure out what you want to do first. Once you figure out what you want to do first, then you can focus on it. So like I was saying, K pulls up this this right here, and you are able to look at the – so for instance, I have 80 carpentry. That would mean I would have to press N to pull up the crafting recipes, and then I could type in small barrel. And that small barrel rack is carpentry. So let's check crates. So I can make – I can make large crates and small crates and improve them uh, for carpentry. Now, just so you know, you need five carpentry and for a one by one, and twelve carpentry for a two by two. If you build up the planks, the that you need, the I think it's like two hundred or something, uh, you should be able to make the two by two. 
All right, all. This has uh, been a an introductory, very basic guide to Worm Online. If you have any more questions, go ahead and post them in the comments, and I'll try to get back to them as soon as possible. I'm also in the game as Blue Eyed Devils. You can go ahead and PM me, or you can check out CA Help, and they'll be able to answer any questions that you might have. Thanks for watching my video. Have a great day, and later.